What's up, everybody? Jason for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Just filled up 2019-20 Upper Deck Buyback Hockey. It's a five-box case break. Number two, random hit. So the way this works, guys, is just five spots. Everybody's guaranteed a box of UD buyback. So again, first, we number all the five boxes. Then we'll randomize the list of customer names and the numbers, one through five. And of course, whatever you match up with is the box you will get. And then we open up all five boxes. Now, there wasn't a true buyback, per se, in the first inner. Uh, the first five boxes so i hope and expect there to be at least one of them of course they buy back some of these base cards hand number them hand sign them and then put them in this product but they also buy back original upper deck cards that were autographed patch autographs relics from customers that bought it back so hopefully we pull something really nice and i was telling customers man, i'm just feeling something monstrous in here so let's see and hope it is but we do have another case so we can always give another one a shot again i labeled this buy back two to let you know it's from the same inner Let's go, guys. Let's open it up. Right here. And again, we're going to number the buyback boxes. And again, we're going to number them. One, two, three, four, and a five. Now let's quickly go back to the list of customer names and the numbers. Roll it. You got a three and a three six times. Here you go, Frank, John, Hans, Hans, and John. Last bomb mojo. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times Hans down to Frank. I can still do it like this. All right, let's go six times now on the box numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One down to four. Wow, it was almost in order again, just five and four mixed up. So here you go guys, Hans you have one, John with two, Hans with three, John with five, and Frank with four. Now let me alphabetize this, and I wanna print out these labels really quick. Kinda of just do the sort of shivers work really quick. Now, does anybody wanna make any box trades while I print out the labels? I don't know if anybody's really down to do that, but wouldn't that be crazy? We trade a box and it's a McDavid and the other one. But, like, imagine it's like something like that. Just heart attack. I know. I feel bad for that kid with ours. Yeah. He's like, the Oilers suck. Who, why, why does anybody want them for? I'll take all the teams. <laughs> That's literally what he said. And he didn't know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm assuming no one's going to trade, right? Let's close the trade window then. Honestly, that, that happened to a... Uh, I don't know if they ever were a customer with us after that, but... Must have been a kid, honestly. It was like a one-box break of ice or something. Uh, and uh, the kid was like... He had the Oilers, right? And everybody was trying to trade him. And one guy was like, I'll trade you all my teams. He had like 12 teams for the Oilers and the kid was like yeah I'll trade them you know and he's just you know he goes who, who why does everybody want the Oilers for they suck and true at the time when they drafted McDavid they, they were not that good and then the kid's like I'll take all those teams so they made the trade and then what do you know an exquisite patch autograph of McDavid pops out rookie year and the kid was like oh I didn't know McDavid was in this and he tried to like email us and tell us like oh no no I, I don't want the trade no more and couldn't do it and that guy like the next week sold it for like five grand <laughs> that's how crazy it was yes jr austin matthews is a big uh uh hockey player as well he was in 16 17 
He doesn't sell for quite as much as McDavid, but he does sell in the thousands. His RPA is where I think like 7,000 or so. It's just he's American. The haters. All the Canadians want a Canadian. <laughs> and there you go, Hans down to John. Random hit. And we're just going older. So Hans, box one. There you go. All right, we got a Henrik Lundqvist for you, 29 out of 50. And it looks like a buyback. And it is a Bobby Ryan. Wow. Bought back an older Fleer, 8 out of 25. A little old school right there. Bobby Ryan was a rookie a long time ago. And there you go, Hans. There's your hit right there. I think he's out of the league right now, though, honestly. I think he, for, like, personal reasons. All right, next one. Box two. Which is John. Last Bomb Mojo box, too. Alright, we got Brent Burns. 11 out of 25. And we have little autograph buyback. And that is... Is that Alexander Ovechkin? No. No, this is Kuznetsov, I believe. And that's a 3 out of 5. Yes. It is Evgeny Kuznetsov. 3 out of 5. Very nice. He's a good player. Hand number 3 out of 5. There you go, John. There's your box. Still one more to go for you as well. All right, up next, Hans with box three. All right, we got a Mark Messier, 135 out of 199. we got the autograph buyback it is a young gun 12 out of 25 Anthony Mantha nice it's pretty solid Anthony Mantha is a good hockey player for the Red Wings of course the Red Wings are a little bit better but they're a little bit in a rebuilding mode but there you go Hans box 3 alright let's go to box 4 now Frank you're up Yeah, that's Kuznetsov autograph. It's just kind of in a, in a silver. It was in a, kind of in a goldish, goldish color, so it kind of was hard to see. Sebastian Aho to 199, and we got Code of Greatness or Coach of Greatness 13 out of 20, uh, 25. Brett Hall. Very nice. Not bad. There you go, Frank. Box four. Alrighty. And what is hiding in box five for John? Come on, true buyback. Please. Peace. Peace. I know they're tough to hit, though. They, they made a lot more of these, like, base card buyback autos than they did buy back original card so I'm sure they're really tough to hit but if we do it'd be pretty nice 
Dante Fabro to one ninety nine. And it's a buyback autograph, but who is it of? It is Kevin Fiala, and it is a two out of two. It's a rookie from MVP. Nice. And there you go, John. That was the break. So no true back back autograph in this one, but some very nice hits, of course. We do have another case. I'm still chasing one of those original buybacks. So maybe we'll post up another one, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. It is also part of the promo, so you guys will get spots and potentially have a chance to win some break credit with these bounties potential uh, involving this Bills and uh, Steelers game. So appreciate it, guys.